we've grown out, we've ninny bong everybody. I'm Engineer Hoist. Welcome to our weekly Transformers Earth Wars stream and other bits about Transformers. We talk about it all here. Uh, we're here every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And let's say hi to everybody who's already in the chat. We've got Fire Ninjas Vlogs, Destroyer Fire Rage, Hot Shot Monkey Man, Starscream, Morishaw, Big D, Denny's Creek, Shark Z, Sentius Magnus, Deadpool, Jameis Vega, Bulkhead, and uh, a few more people are going to be coming. There's Charlie Dark, Damon Sweeky. Welcome to everybody. Let's go ahead and head over to the news because we got a few fun things to talk about tonight. First of all, Gloria, hello to your son, Adrian. Good to see you guys. Thanks for joining the stream. Blitzwing's here. So let's talk about this weekend's event. It's called Planet Terror. The new bots Blades and Dirge are joining the Force and long-awaited characters are coming soon. If you've seen the thumbnail or if you've got the newsletter you, or even watched last week's stream, you know what we're talking about. Um, get, so it's, a, it's an alliance event. Gather your alliance to take part in this weekend's event to win up to 3 million Energon and Alloy, 30,000 Spark, and up to 60 Frequency Crystals with the chance to win a 2, 3, or 4 star blades or dirge or crystal shards now this is actually a big surprise uh, i was really expecting this to be a leaderboard event for these new bots because it's been a little while since we had a leaderboard and impactor who came out just three weeks ago was uh, a prestige event like this as well but hey we're get it's another prestige event so everybody has the same chance of getting the two three or four star plot out of any one of the crystals you could get it on the first crystal you might take you all 60 or however many that you have and i do kind of like these kinds of events even though i haven't had the greatest luck in them tiger hawk's the only one i managed to pull a four star out of this type of event but still they're fun so as we talked about, this is an Alliance Prestige event. It starts and ends at the usual times. That it would be Friday and Sunday slash Monday, depending on your time zone. 60 Prestiges and the usual Triple XP. How do you participate? For anybody new here, you gotta be a Headquarters Level 4. You gotta be in an Alliance. You tap that event button, it's the big yellow button down in the right corner and tap your battle zone and win your battle, gather battle points and collect prizes the battle zones are the standard battle zones and the prizes they're practically identical to the impactor event from just a few weeks ago the only difference is instead of a mercenary crystal that was last time it's now a frequency crystal so every thousand points for the alliance you guys win a prize either spark alloy spark energon spark or that the you know, all-important frequency crystal trios theory is in the house Woo! welcome welcome my buddy uh, let's see so and frequency crystal rewards same rewards as for impactor except now you will either get blades or dirge depending on whether you're an Autobot or a Decepticon so yeah, there's a little bit more about blades it's the same one we've seen the last couple weeks uh, we haven't gotten much extra in the newsletter or um, or otherwise same thing with dirge but I do have those bots and we'll take a look at them in action here in the stream once we get through these slides and I believe Skywarp Greer has a video out on dirge I think he was mentioned in the newsletter I haven't seen one from the other guys yet but we did just get these bots earlier today so it may not have had a chance to make them I expect to see videos from like Alpha Prime and Sunstreaker Waza, maybe even Trios Theory getting back in the swing and doing some videos, perhaps. So okay, so moving on. So we did oh we did learn their ability. It's called Safe Zone for Blades or Fear Inducing Signal for Dirge. Now these this is kind of going along with their just their their bios there. And it's the identical attack. It's just the, the icon for it's a little different. A helicopter for blades, a jet for dirge. But what it is, is you drop a hack bomb dealing damage in an area, and it confuses the targets for a certain number of seconds, which I believe the number of seconds actually raises when you level it up. 
and it reduces the attack speed of those targets to 40% and it makes them attack your foes. Basically, it, it it's an area of effect hack. It's very similar to the Perceptor or Bombshell attack, except that only works on a single defense, whereas this can work on multiple. These guys are going to be very good in raids. Now, the next big news, which we saw in the thumbnail, and we even talked a little bit about last week because we got a little bit of a leak there back on Wednesday. Turns out it was an official release that just got posted a little early. Um, and then they did talk about it in last week's stream. The Dawn of Titans, which actually is a another mobile game played by some non-toxic gamers like Zalan and Boganora and Solja. Uh, but anyway, but but it's also just the kind of the title of this upcoming thing here. Um, Metroplex and Trypticon, the two very first ancient Autobot Titans, are coming to the game after long last. And basically it says, The Prime Core struggle has woken from their slumber, the towering behemoths. Metroplex and Trypticon. It will take the combined might of a whole alliance to take them down before they ravage through Cybertron. You can soon fight the Titans, Metroplex, and Trypticon in raid battles and win cool new rewards. So it sounds like these guys are going to be... Uh, they're, they're going to be part of the raids. It says right there. So I don't know if they're going to take the place of one of the bases, if they're still going to go like that. Or maybe the raids was... Probably just kind of getting us used to having to work as an alliance to take down a single foe. So it's going to be kind of like a boss battle, which a lot of people have thought that that's what they were probably going to be for something like this. How else could they do something like this other than to have them be a boss battle type of a thing? Now, how it's actually going to happen, we haven't seen that yet. But uh, I'm sure we'll get details as the weeks progress. And so there is an unsaturated version of the uh, image that they shared. I, I kind of, I, I did some Photoshop magic to the thumbnail to make the colors really pop. Uh, so, uh, but, but more powerful than even the strongest combiner, these two titans are coming to Earth Wars <laughs> to fight against you in raids. I have no idea what happened with my breath there. <laughs> but that's okay. Now, what's cool about this, and I didn't think ahead to actually be able to zoom in on these guys, but down there by Metroplex's feet, that's Superion. That tiny little dude down there is Superion over there by Metroplex. And if you look close, coming running around the, the foot of Trypticon is Predaking over there. And even smaller than them, you got a tiny little Optimus Prime and Megatron up there on the shoulders of the Titans. And they're so small you can't even really tell that's who they are. But... They did say in the stream that's actually who they are. They got, you got uh, Optimus Prime and Megatron there uh, riding the shoulders of the Titans. So did I just gasp? Yeah, I have no idea what happened there. Just a weird, weird breath happened. <laughs> so, but yeah, I do love, I agree, Sharksy. I love that they have Predaking and Superion in there uh, along with the Titans just to show that size comparison. And, um... It, does, it doesn't really match up with the same size comparison in Combiner Wars. Uh, the, the, the Combiner Wars combiners are probably more, I want to say, waist height to the act on, the, on the actual toys. The combiners are actually probably about waist height for Metroplex. Maybe a little bit shorter than waist height, uh, but they're not quite that small. In fact, that, that height's probably more of a, uh, actually more of a Legends figure compared to the actual toy of Metroplex. But this isn't the toys, this is the video game, so they can be any size that they want them to be, so very cool. Ultra Tube says Optimus Prime looks like a little fly sitting up there on Metroplex's shoulder. That is true. What's up, forehead Grand Galvatron? Good to see you guys. Okay, and the last slide we had here was the official live stream. This is a stream last week. There's no stream this week, so uh, if you want to see Blades and Dirge in action, you're not going to see it tomorrow, so you're in the right place to see it right now, and probably also up on some of these other guys' videos. So how about we head over to see these guys. Now, this is the test 
account that we have. It, it's a snapshot of my base from a few months ago, so it's not fully upgraded. But it does have blades. So, uh, and, and because it's just a test account, it's not live, they did actually level them up for us. So we, we got them to a pretty decent level so we can show off what he can do. So there he is. We'll take a good look at him now that we see him in the game. There he is. Looks just like the Combiner Wars toy, doesn't he? He's even got those rescue missiles on his arms. <laughs> the safe zone missiles. Denny's Creek says he got a four-star sandstorm. Very cool, man. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. All right, so there's there's a little wrap around for blades. Let's go ahead and transform him. There he goes. Yes, that is correct. He is just a red Alpha Bravo. <laughs> Still, it's it is true to the Combiner Wars toy. Uh, as as with all of the figures uh, or, or the characters in here, they're not exactly like the toy but definitely inspired by. So you can kind of see where his head goes, and that's his little chest down there. So, there's that. Now you want to see Dirge? We got Dirge. What class is he? Oh, that's a good good, good thing. Uh, air class. They are air class, and I believe Blades is the same. Yes, air class. So there is Dirge, looking like a blue ramjet, basically. I do believe they actually had different wings in the toys and in the cartoon, perhaps, but it uh, looks like they went with just the same style, and that makes sense from, you know, because you could reuse the model and things like that, and that's okay. The, the, the more determining factor was more of the coloration, and, and they definitely did get the colors right. Can I zoom in to say in... Uh, Grand Galvatron saying, what beautiful lips. Yeah, that's some Overlord-level lips right there on Dirge. Boy, he is, uh... Yeah. Let's transform this guy and see him in his jet mode. There he is! Just like a standard old Decepticon jet. Cleans up pretty well underneath. go there's dirge all right uh, blue steel <laughs> the, the blue steel lips right alert saying very nice nice um so let's go see them in battle autobots roll out all right so who do i want to swap out here for blades let's swap out <laughs> I'll swap out Jazz. We know what Jazz can do, right? There he is next to his other Protect the Bot buddy, Streetwise. Everybody's doing a backflip. Alright, here we go. Jonathan Carrillo, thanks for stopping by, man. Grant Galvatron, not a fan of Ramjet. Yeah, you know, it's weird how various things unrelated to the actual character in the game uh, might have a bearing on how you feel about them. So, yeah, I definitely I, I definitely feel you on that one. So, let's go ahead and get all of that out of the way. So, this area, I, I don't know what kind of an area it is. I haven't tried him yet, so this is the first time I'm even trying him. But I'm thinking this area right over here by this, you got a couple of laser beams and a mortar might be a good place to drop his hack. So let's go ahead and now, reap bring them the in. Alright, so here we go, we'll drop it. And yes, it's not targeted directly on that. Oh look at that area. That's a pretty de that's a pretty decent area there, guys. It didn't last very long. Uh, five seconds. We'll drop it again, see what it does. Although it did some serious damage if you look at that. 
but it actually does some pretty nice damage too in addition to hacking so let's get trying to bring everybody up high so we don't clear all that stuff out how about we uh how about we drop it up here on the um these couple of mortars there we go he's doing some serious damage up there to that too look look at that one more time, one more time with feeling. Boom! Meanwhile, these guys are still down here, just. They really hate combiners. So I don't know why Streetwise would be the next part of a combiner team, although not yet. Maybe he's just mad that he's not a part of the combiner team just yet. Well done. So, yeah, that looks like a pretty, pretty good thing. So, it's not just hack, it's actually hack and damage. Yeah, I didn't even really pay attention to the damage when we went and looked at it. So let's go let's go back and look at that real quick. So drop a hack bomb dealing 1102 damage. Mind you, he's level 54, level 8 ability. So when we first get him, he's not going to be nearly that strong. I think at level 1, level 1, it was 79. So it goes up from there. And confuse the targets for five seconds. And if we go try to upgrade this, it actually upgrades the damage. So it doesn't actually upgrade the sec the seconds. It, it actually upgrades. It's five seconds all the time, apparently. And so, yeah, it reduces the attack speed to 40%. And it causes them to attack other defenses. Plus, it also can deal a heck of a lot of damage once you get leveled up pretty well. Now, granted, that was a level a zone 12 base. And at this level of a bot, it's probably a little OP for that level of a base. The zone 12 is the highest I had on this account uh, when they copied it over. And, uh, well, just for comparison, Dirge should be, should be the same. Yeah, 11.02, 5 seconds. So, same levels. They've got the exact same um, ability. And there's uh, damage health, pretty typical for an air class bot. UltraTube asking about the pro problems with the avatars in the game. Uh, yeah, that happened last update, and they pretty sure they said when they release in the next update. Not sure when that's going to be. They'll have it fixed in the next update. Grand Galvatron doing a little. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I love this. Grand Galvatron puts a, put a little bit of dialogue with the uh, that little attack down there on the uh, Combiner Lab because Streetwise, Impactor, and Inferno were down there. Is it Impactor asked Streetwise, "Why do you want us to attack the Combiner Lab?" And Streetwise says, "Because I hate the fact that my other member hasn't come yet. Help me, Hotspot." <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. Going with the whole fire truck confusion. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, so let, let's go battle as Decepticons. Autobots, roll out! Might have to build a whole team. Find an empty spot, there we go. Okay, so we got Dirge. Let's go ahead and throw Center Twin on there, Straxus, Brawl. Kickback, those are all my four stars. Cybertron Starscream, I didn't ask to get him leveled up. So we won't put him on there. We'll throw Deathsaurus on there. Uh, dead end, and... Oh, let's just keep keep going with the top ones. There's Hunger. No idea how this is going to do. We got a, got a couple of Terracons on there. We got Dirge. Let's go check this out and see how, how well we do. Now this one's probably not going to do well in Zone 12. Okay, so Dirge, at the level he is, he's going to be just one attack. Might take all this stuff out in zone 11. Shadow Prime, leader of the Shadow Brothers, thank you for stopping by. Okay. Attack! Yes, my liege. Where should we go drop this? Let's drop this right here on this missile launcher. 
<laughs> that just took everything out because he's just too, too high level for, for this, uh, this base. Death Zorus will probably clear some stuff out too. Oh, he Dirge got stunned. He was stunned at the <laughs> Death Zorus' ability. Look at that. So yeah, like I said, you wouldn't have a dirge this this uh, that high and be battling in zone 11 unless you're like power leveling or something. Hey, there's Hotspot. We found Hotspot. Oh, but Hotspot died. There they go. Yeah, see, on my actual account, I actually have Death Saurus at 50, and I have those other three stars that I actually do have Straxus, Brawl, and Kickback there at or above 40 already. So it, it's been a while. Ultra 2, that was your base, really? <laughs> Bokanora, what's up, man? Good to see you. One of our Knocks Out Toxic Gamers actually mentioned you earlier because. Uh, here, let, let me go ahead and show you what, what we were talking about. They, uh, we, we just brought out Metroplex and Trypticon, uh, or they're coming to the game soon. And the way that they announced it is uh, by calling it Dawn of Titans. So uh, <laughs> I was like, hey, you should go check out Boganora. That guy right there in the chat, or Zolana Sap and Soldier because they play a, 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 it's an actual mobile game called Dawn of Titans. So, so yeah, I, I just thought that was uh, pretty funny. Uh, trademark, copyright. <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that. Okay, so, you guys wanna see those again or do we want to go ahead and hop over? Cause I got some crystals to crack. We're gonna go try and get some Streetwise, try to get Streetwise on my main account. Do we want to be cracking some crystals or we want to see a little bit more of Blades or Dirge? What do you guys think? You gotta vote for crystals. Crystals. Yeah, we saw him. We saw those new guys. We'll be getting them here in a couple of days. So let's go get some crystals. Now, before we do that, I do have to swap over apps so i'll have to swap that down the music is going to go away while i until i bring up the other one <laughs> uh, it's got to go through the whole loading thing and everything because because you know if you uh leave your game open and you just exit out and you don't fully shut it down sometimes when it comes back it won't play the music underneath even if you have it activated so i always like to completely shut it down especially for the stream i usually play with the sound off anyway but for the stream i like to have that music in the background i almost made the mistake of not switching over to this but you can see i've got my shield generator it is active there finally something to use the alloy for so that was actually a pretty good deal uh, so I, I actually activated this, uh, I guess, earlier this morning because it had run out. Two million alloy, but when you're at HQ 16 with the max base, you don't, you, you don't, you got nothing to spend alloy on. Sure, you can upgrade your power cores, but if you've got no other extra power cores to even upgrade with, you got nothing to spend alloy on. So this is actually pretty good. I like this, keeping me from having to be sitting at max alloy, giving me something. When I go attack a base, I can I can actually earn alloys, so that, that's actually pretty cool. And Ninja Squirrel saw, caught the uh, MMC Skylinks back there. Yeah, we actually took a closer look at him last week, and uh, he, he's, he's excellent. Uh, the, the neck has had some lo looseness problems on a lot of people. I've seen I've heard about that. This one, it holds pretty well. I mean, if you bump him or whatever, or you, you know, it'll droop down a little bit, but it's not completely loose. And as you can see, it's uh, you know, it's, it's, it's sitting up there pretty well. It's sitting up there pretty well. All right, Charles Williams, welcome to the stream. We're just about to go crack some crystals. I did purchase one of those Streetwise bundles last weekend. 
and uh, didn't really get a chance to play very much. I had had other things going on, uh, and uh, yeah, so I didn't earn a whole lot of Prime Core shards. In fact, it's the second Prime Core event in, the, in a row where I didn't really get a chance to play a whole lot, which is unfortunate. So I, I'm way behind on the whole Prime Core deal, but. Uh, but I did go ahead and purchase these because it's streetwise and we know defense or is coming and I need three or four star streetwise because I don't think I have the three star yet. I know I don't have the four star. In fact, I don't even have the four star hot spot, but at least I do have the three star hot spot. So. And I'm hoping for good luck this weekend with blades. All right. So just do it. Okay. Starting off with an iron hide. Thank you, Ultra Tube, wishing me luck. Okay, the second crystal we get is Streetwise, but we've already got that flavor. We need something a little bit more spicy. Let's get a few extra stars on it. There's the old shoulder pads prime himself, Laser Optimus. Destroy a fiery saying a four star dupe will come soon. And, and yes, actually, that would be pretty good because I, I am pretty close to a new five-star crystal, so I wouldn't mind getting a, few, uh, a couple of four-star dupes, to be honest with you. But Bo say I'm not the only one in the, with stream toys. Oh, you have no idea. We, we, we look at toys all the time. It's like when we've got new bots. Like we were taking a look at Blades earlier, so I've got the, I've got the actual toy that it, the, the new bot is based on. So, yeah. Let's talk about a few other toys, too, that aren't even in the game. I mean, yes, Skylink's back there. He is in the game. It's, the one in the game wasn't exactly based on that one, but they were both based on the same original character of Skylink's. Silverbolt. So that was a pretty interesting bundle they have in the store right now. Uh, raid bots. They've got what? Perceptor, Silverbolt, Cosmos, and Bumblebee. So just like everybody pretty much said, hacks and stuns are crucial for raids. So if you don't have those guys and you've got a little bit of disposable income, don't put yourself in the poorhouse, trust me. But if you can afford it and you want those guys, it's a good chance because it's a pretty, pretty healthy selection of crystals they got in there. Um, Grand Galvatron Plus Scream is getting closer to being done. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, Grand Galvatron actually is working on a plush toy of Starscream. And I think it's going to turn out really cool. Of course, obviously, as you can see in the chat, he's calling him Plus Scream, which I think is very clever. The Story Fire Race, so hopefully they will do an event where they do like a combiner event to get a four-star combiner bot. They have done that a few times. In fact... Uh, it's usually when a new combiner comes out they do that. So when Defensor and Abominus come out, what happened there? Something went wrong. Yep, Tigerhawk. It's all it's all Tigerhawk's fault. Ah, that hasn't happened in a very long time. Uh, okay. Not sure what that's about. <laughs> Any, any guys any idea what that might have been something went wrong because I got a gold chip and some shards that's weird yeah bombshell hacked my phone well well he gave me a gold power cord chip you know if he's gonna do that he should hack me a little bit more 
So, since we have that, let's go ahead and open that chip. We'll, we'll go power core again. Anti-air laser. I'm not sure if I need that or not. If I don't, it's food. All right, let's get back to these. Uh, you know what? There's no music. There's no music. This is what I was talking about. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the camera again. I'm going to restart my game. So that's why I was, that's why I was talking about uh, when I was going over and I had to go through the loading thing because if you have the game and it doesn't fully close and restart when it comes back it doesn't always play the music so that, that's why I was doing that and uh, since it, it crashed there it didn't fully close so we should be hearing some music here shortly unless something went really wrong and we got no music anymore there it is all right why not give a five-star crystal? They, hit, they don't give out five-star crystals. You gotta earn those. You gotta earn those five-star crystals. I've, I've seen reports of people saying that they've managed to get a five-star crystal free to play. And, you know, some people tend to exaggerate the truth and whatever. But I believe that it is possible by, at the, by this point. I think they've been out enough. If you are in a top alliance and are really fighting on every five-star event and you get every possible five-star crystal and you have good luck with the five-star, you know, you know, or the five-star shards and you have good luck with the five-star crystals like the uh, guardian crystals or something like that and even getting good drops with four-star shards, I believe it is possible to have a five-star free to play by this point so but generally five stars is this so all right so we're still getting duplicate two star street lives and duplicate two star alpha bravos Somebody got a two-star dupe. Oh yeah, you know the the that that chip shards and spark. Maybe that was a bot that I. It, maybe it, it was a bot I, a bot that got pulled somewhere in it when it crashed or whatever, and that was what the rewards I would have gotten from the dupe. Maybe. Like if it crashed right there, it gave me shards, spark, and a. Hmm. Maybe that's what it was. Free five-star paddles. That's right. Oh, it thought about it, but just gives us a star saber. It did give us a three-star star saber with some four-star shards. Oh, and a laser ricochet. That's the new power core for the laser turrets. Not sure if I'll use that because I think I got gold cores on those already. Right now. So close. There's a sandstorm. I wouldn't mind seeing him come through as a four star. Slug. Grand Galvatron saying he's free to play and he's got a five star Astro Train. There you go. Good night. All right, halfway through. No luck. That happens. But we also still have the whole second half. Sometimes good things happen on the back nine. Or the back 25, as it were. Not, not, not the first part of the smoke screen. There's another street wide. Oh, so close. We got street wise. Just doesn't want to give us those extra stars on it. That was real quick to give us a duplicate dust up. They still haven't released the new batch. Yeah, no, they haven't yet, but I've, I've heard it's coming very soon. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say, but it's not going to be very long.
Shoulder pads, Prime. Two stars. <laughs> Rodimus Prime. Air Raid. Three star Air Raid with a silver food pellet for the bot power cores. There's Tiger Hawk. Don't mess up the game this time, Tiger Hawk. All right. There's the Protect the Bot Buddy First Aid. Pop the extra crystal. Okay, we'll go do that. Three star. I'm gonna open a couple more of these, then I'll have two two new crystals. See how that goes. Gnaw. Another streetwise. That should be enough to get the second three star crystal. Oh, almost. Oh, what the heck? We'll go ahead and get this one now. Pretty close to a four star. I'm not sure if we'll get it though. Three star crystal. Get this. Let's do it. Get first aid. An enhanced ordinance. And here we go. Oh, it's a Huffer. And there's another three-star crystal sitting over there waiting for us. Pop that one. Drift. Drift, 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 drift. Self-repair core. That's cool, though. I need, I need base power core food. Shoulder pads again. You just won't go away. Oh, we're lighting up. We're lighting up to a three star streetwise. Yeah. All right. Good news. We got at least a three star. I'm happy about that. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see, can we get the four star now? Oh, I might actually get a chance to try out his ability. There's Prowl, his fellow police car Autobot. Drift. Always gets his man. I don't know. I don't always get him. The slash. I don't think you have Grand Galvatron uh, images of Octo Punch. I don't think you have. This is a three star snarl. There's a hot rod. And by the way, if anybody wants to see what Grand Gang Galvatron's up to, hop on over to Discord. I'm throwing a link in the chat, I think. There it is. So you can go over there. You can uh, hop in there. We, we chat. We, we share collection photos. All kinds of fun stuff. That is the final five crystals. We got another Streetwise. We're back to the two-star flavor, though. Oh, I thought it was going to happen. Uh, two-star Huffer, you're always a disappointment, but even more so now because of the delay. There's a Trax. I don't think we saw Trax yet tonight. Two more, two more. They're real quick to give us this duplicate silver bolt. Final crystal, final crystal. 
Oh, it didn't happen. All right, but hey, we got the three star. We got the three star streetwise. So very cool, very cool. Where is he? He's way down at the bottom. There he is. Little baby streetwise. Little baby three star streetwise. Right next to my little baby three star sandstorm. I think I've got him. Yeah, he's at 30. Needs some research. Haven't found time to get him into the lab yet. What about what am I doing on three stars? Impactor and Cybertron Jetfire are the only three stars that I need. And Impactor is still just Impactor Crystals. Cybertron Jetfire is still just Cybertron Jetfire Crystals. And a fair amount of uh, four stars. So that would be what? Six? Ten? Ten of them? Including Streetwise. I suppose eleven because... Uh, I don't think Blaze is in here yet. Do we have the protect the bots in the collections? I haven't looked at this in a long time. Have they added protect the bots here yet? No, they haven't added protect the bots yet. They need to add protect the bots. Where am I at? Commander details. I haven't looked at this in a while. The Wreckers. This is Sandstorm and Ultra Magnus. From the four stars. Got all of these ladies. Happy about that. Even got her. 21 of 21 restaurant gates. Dinobots are just missing the five stars. Beast Wars. Oops. Missing the four star Decepticons, but I haven't really chased them. Got all the three stars, though. We hear you, Beast Wars Megatron. We hear you too, Optimus Primal. Old Monkey Prime. So, yeah. Yeah, Primal beats his chest. You can actually hear it. Sounds like an empty empty uh, oil drum. <laughs> so, yeah. Speaking of Beast Wars Megatron. That's right. Got him open. Look at this guy. He's huge. Yes. <laughs> I haven't I haven't managed to transform him yet. I, I I literally just managed to get him out of the box before right before the stream. That's not a good way to hold him because he's blocking most of them. But yeah, so look at this dude. He is huge. He is about as tall as okay, maybe not quite, but he's he's pretty tall compared to old Star Saver back there. Almost as tall, almost as tall as a combiner. So yeah, so the Beast Wars Megatron. Yes, <laughs> I can't get my voice quite as deep as David K. That that is an iconic voice. But yeah, man, the sculpting on this is fantastic. And yeah, you know, you can close his mouth completely where you almost can't even see the teeth. Yeah, we'll open it up nice and wide, so like he's gonna chomp on some Maximals. You know, his eyes even move. His tiny little arms—they wiggle a little bit. They, they don't bend at the elbow, but you can turn them a little bit and and bring bring them out away from the body. So it's pretty pretty cool. And, and the the feel—I love the feel of the Beast Wars. Transformers because it, it doesn't have that standard plastic feel. It's it's almost it's hard like normal plastic, but it almost feels soft. It, it's 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 so crazy how all that works. And uh, because I couldn't transform him, but I wanted I did pull out. He does have a few alternate faces, and this is one of this is not the standard face, but it is one of the alternate ones. This is his yes face. Now this. Th as soon as I get him transformed into robot mode, this is the face I'm putting on him, and this is the face that's going to stay on him unless I have some photographing reasons. If I've been a while, I used to do like uh, 
what you'd call toy comics. Um, where basically you would take your toys and you, you pose them and then you add little captions to them like a comic book. Uh, and I haven't done one of those in a long time. But if I ever do, I would definitely take advantage of the multiple faces. But just for display purposes, he's totally having this um, yes face. <laughs> So, yeah, very cool. Chomp on the mic. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I don't know how it's coming across to you guys. You're probably hearing some banging, but yeah, you could pr pretty much swallow that microphone. Craziness, craziness. Oh, he's... Oh, Grand Galvatron's getting some of the Octopunch stuff in the Discord. You guys, if you want, if you want to go see that, you need to get over there. Uh, yeah, man, that looks pretty cool. I, I can't imagine the kind of time and effort that you put into that to, to do something like that. Uh, well done, well done. I mean, it's just kind of like the back piece, the the, the uh, what you would call the tentacles or whatever. But still, I mean, the, the 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 twists and the turns and the and the look of it, just just outstanding, man. Great job. Oh. I think there was anything else I was gonna say. You <laughs> see, the tentacles were a pain to make. Yeah. How would a five-star primal be in raids? Destroy a fire rage asks. Probably just a shade better than a four-star Optimus primal. Um, I'm not sure how well that would be. One of one of the benefits really of Beast Wars Megatron and Optimus primal is the fact that they focus on the defenses and it kind of it can help you ignore some like resource buildings up front and may maybe get deeper into the base but with the raids there's defenses all over um they will put a little bit of a shield on all of your bots uh, i'm not sure i think the uh honest honestly I, I think your skill points your ability points would be better used on say like the stun for bumblebee or using perceptor or a bombshell to hack one of those big thunder towers to take out some serious damage of the uh, other thing. So, um, I never even thought to take Optimus Primal into the raids, and I don't think I ever will. I've got a pretty decent raid team. I, I might I might need to switch it up a little bit. Trax is also very useful. You, it uses ability to cloud your bots. Um, yeah. 17,000 Shanix? Nice. Yeah, I'm saving my Shanix too. I'm probably about six years away from getting that Optimus Primal. <laughs> no way we go with the Shanix. Uh, but yeah, honestly, the Power Core chips or even the XP chips. I, I, the couple of XP chips that we got uh, for free or from an event or whatever, I used those and yeah, they were great. I mean, yeah, seriously helped. Uh, level up some some bots, but you, I don't like the fact that I feel like I need to grind and spend all day in the game just making full use of that that core or feeling like it's wasted. Um, I mean that's just me. I, I, there's there's nothing wrong with it if that's what you choose to do, or even if you just you know you just use it for what you can and then then just let it go. But uh, I'm just you know, I just, uh, I'd rather save my Shannix is what I'm saying, I guess. <laughs> Ultra Tube's asking, why not have Rhinox in the game? Wishing, wishing, uh, looking for many new bots. Rhinox would be great. And I, I think if we're going to, if we get Rhinox, I think, um, Tarantulas would probably be a good Predacon to bring in against them because they both do kind of have that uh you know what, what what is what do they call the thing for rhinox like the chain gun of doom he's got that little circular thing it's kind of like a mini gun and tarantulas has all of his uh legs i guess all right kind of do a a, a a big time uh a barrage of bullets or blaster beams <laughs> or whatever so they, they, the two of them, uh, I think, would probably be a good counterpart. 
Uh, for, for for bringing into the uh, game. My mind went blank there for a second. It happens. Mm. When is the event actually going to happen? It, ha it's, it begins at the time that it usually does. Um, that would be... Head back over there. idea why that's doing that. Probably because I had the my little soundboard active as I was trying to hit the button to move this the slides. Um, let's see. So let's see, so there you go. Uh, May 24th at 10 a.m. Universal Time. That's 6 a.m. Friday uh, Eastern Time. And I guess what 3 a.m. Eastern uh, Pacific Time. Uh, so there you go. Those are the times that they do. Yeah, well, I got a little soundboard so I can do uh, Grimlock anytime I want. I could do Beast Wars Megatron. Yeah, if I tell a, if I tell a funny joke, you know, I had the whole crickets thing earlier, and uh, oh, I, I totally forgot to give myself one of these. Well done. And one of oh, these yeah. for pulling that streetwise. I got, I got a few. I got, I got a few. I got a few little effects. There we go. All right. I'm sitting here trying to think if I want to tell you guys about the uh, about the new thing I'm I'm going to be working on. It's not Transformers related, or if I want to just kind of save it for next week. So I, don't, I didn't really prepare anything to share with you guys, but we got a little bit of time left. UltraTube says the uh, the event starts at one o'clock, one a.m. I'm, I'm thinking, or is it one p.m.? Uh, probably one p.m. in Greece, because you're you're a little bit farther east than uh, the UK. Uh, universal time. Hmm. Got some dead air going on here. I guess I should probably just, just talk and do something or... <laughs> so it's a new game I'm playing. And uh, I was, it, it's, it's a fun game. It's a game that a lot of the non-toxic gamers uh, we've gone in there and started playing. That uh, it's been it had been in beta a while back. In fact, you probably I've got a couple of videos on my channel already, um, and I want to start doing probably some videos on it, maybe even some streams. Um, but I want to try to even though I've done the videos on this channel already, I do would, would I would rather keep it. Transformery on, on this channel here. Uh, Destroyer Fire Rage, is it a survival game? Yes, indeed it is. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick uh, before we get out of here, just a little quick preview. Uh, but I do have a second channel. I've had it for a little while. Don't really have a whole lot of subscribers, but it was I set it up with the intention of if I want to do other games that are not Transformers, then, then we can go do that. But I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys here what what we're do what we're doing here. It's called Durango Wildlands. It's really cool. It's been, it came out last week, and um, so music is actually much louder than the Transformers Earth Wars music was. So there, you're Grand Galvatron. So just, just just a quick preview. We're not gonna be staying here much, but 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 it's pretty cool. Anytime you change, they've got a bunch of different islands, and when you go change, they got some uh, some little things here, and it's it's pretty fun to read. But basically, you go through, and you got this little character, and you can kind of choose what your character is. Basically, you kind of get caught in a warp or whatever, get trans transported off to some some weird 
island or whatever um, where there's a whole bunch of other people and dinosaurs this is my pet raptor let me see if I can get them away from the thing there there you go so yeah you can actually tame the dinosaurs you can ride the dinosaurs oh except except when they're hungry so yeah so you can actually fight dinosaurs and you can build all, all of this stuff you got to build you go and you collect resources and stuff like that like you can find um, bushes or whatever so you can c collect leaves roots logs stuff like that and you can put it all together and craft it and, and um, it's very deep it's very complex and you can totally get lost in this game for a very long time so it's just a quick little look and uh, you can find some modern stuff like this little safety cone that you can wear as a hat it, it's there's, there's all kinds of funny stuff I mean th you can even get little costumes like um, you could dress up as a little dinosaur <laughs> so, so you can do all kinds of weird crazy stuff like that but uh, so yeah so you can check out Moon City uh, he's been he's been streaming Durango the beta for years now and um, Zalon who does a uh, Dino Titans he's actually got a couple of couple of um, videos up there and like I like I said I even did a couple of videos uh, a year or so ago on Durango and uh, I do plan to do this uh, I have another channel I don't have a link for it yet like I said I'm not really prepared for this but it's called hoist gaming uh, so and you, you, I don't yeah there's, there's a couple of videos on there it's not it's not even Durango but that's where I plan to do uh, some video stuff over there so if you're interested uh, uh, head on over to hoist gaming I'll probably uh, talk about this uh, in a dedicated video just kind of a, hey check out this if you want to or whatever so so yeah I, I w went ahead and go, put put that out there I wasn't really prepared for it but I did want to tell you guys because that that's what I've been spending a whole lot of time that's why I just got this guy out of the package uh, just today just before the stream even though I've had him for uh, over a week now <laughs> because when that when Durango came out I went straight straight to it and uh, yeah it's 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 crazy fun it's crazy fun uh, it, it yeah anyway that's all I'm gonna say for tonight about Durango and uh, Transformers I'm running out of things to say and <laughs> it's it's time to go so with that I'm going to say my usual sign off I'm engineer hoist keep rolling my friends see you next time <laughs>